Hello, this is Na Kim, an undergraduate student of biomedical engineering lab at Durham University. Today's topic is polycarprolactone and gelatin nanofibrous scaffolds for wound dressing. Damage to the surface of skin, such as rations and loss of rations, when the body is exposed to the external environment or scratches caused by bacteria, it is infected. For key message that cause this situation, it is important to block the region size from the external environment. At this time, the wound dressing is used. In this study, each scaffolds were evaluated for the effects of rate ratio, the mechanical properties and biocompatibility of scaffolds synthesized by electrospinning using a common solvent of dilute acid and ethyl acetate. Suitability to wound dressing is studied. SEM images were taken in a different way with a pH weight ratio fixed at 6,4 and a 12 weight percent to 18 weight percent polymer concentration range. It was confirmed that the morphology of the fibers changed from uniform fibers to bees as the PG concentration increased from 12 weight percent to 18 weight percent. Polymer concentration of 18 weight percent was selected in the present study due to the uniform fiber morphology. SCA images were taken with the different PG ratios from 5.5 to 8.2 with a fixed concentration of PG 18 weight percent. As the PG ratio increased from 5.5 to 8.2, the average diameter of nanofiber increased sharply from 430 to 1088. Also, as the proportion increased, the conductivity increased linearly from 27 to 124. However, the viscosity of the PG scaffold decreased from 622 to 349. The main FTIR spectrum of gelatin is 16.3 representing CO stretching and 15.40 representing NH bending. The PCR spectrum showed the major peak at 17.26 corresponding to the carbonyl group. Tensile strength increased from 4.2 to 4.8 as the PCR ratio of PCR gelatin scaffold increased from 5.5 to 6.4. It is known that the under dressing moisture vapor transmission rate must be in the range of 500 to 1000 for proper skin regeneration. The MVTR value increased from 1144 to 1522 as the gelatin ratio increased from 91 to 73. All scaffolds prepared in this study may be considered suitable for infected skin with appropriate MVTR values. Porosity results of all scaffolds were almost similar and showed a porosity high enough for use as a wound dressing. Cytotoxicity determines whether the scaffold has a toxic effect on living cells. PG scaffolds with a PG ratio of 8, 2 to 5, 5 were 97%, 102%, 103%, and 112% cells compared to the negative control measured at 415 nanometer wavelengths using a microplate absorption spectrophotometer. Cell viability increased slightly as the percentage of gelatin increased. The proliferation result of L929 cells indicate that the PG scaffold continued to proliferate over time regardless of the gelatin ratio. Therefore, under the conditions of this study, the PG scaffold is non-toxic and has excellent cell proliferation, so it can be used on the dressing. When all the results of the above experiments are combined, scaffolds in the range of 6.4 to 7.3 of the PG scaffolds are due to the adjustable properties of morphology and VTR strength, cell viability, and proliferation. You can draw a conclusion that are considered in the material of choice for the wound dressing. Thank you.